law says the source of the right determines the governing law. So when you register it to the government, then they take it. They just take it. They have a right to do anything they want. Exactly. And when you talk about uh, the school system, the uh, this whole generation, I guess it happens generation to generation. They'll rob you of some type of practical knowledge like we see now in our current military. They're not teaching these young guys about the Bill of Rights. They're not teaching people about no, constitutional no. rights. They teaching them just the opposite. Yeah, They're they, actively they opposing it. To, they don't yeah. want you to know this stuff. So when you come out and into the streets to do whatever duties you have to do, you don't know. You're not conscious of these things. And it happens generation to generation. Just with our current, uh, our current system, there's not going to be a generation who doesn't understand or who hasn't been fed this propaganda that, you know, guns are bad and anybody with a gun is just going to jump out the bushes or kill you. Or they're, they're not aware that, you know, there wasn't a time where you didn't have to get a pat down just to get on an airplane or to yeah. go to go see the Super Bowl. This is the conditioning that we see. You're growing up a whole generation in things and it gets worse, worse generations. It's normalcy bias. It's a Stockholm syndrome. You know, when I went to school, there weren't any policemen in the schools. Mm -hmm. We didn't have metal detectors. We didn't have school lockdown. We didn't have any of that stuff. Today, the kids are being raised in a model of a police state. Mm -hmm. You know, I've said it over and over again, maximum security is actually a prison. Okay, exactly that's why they call it prison. We see, just like I was talking about earlier uh, in uh, San, and San Antonio, with the RFID trackers at the high schools down there, that it's prisoner training. You, mm -hmm. you give the kids their the little ID badge, they have to wear visibly all the time, you stand in this line, you do this, you can't go here without this permission. You have to ask permission to go to the water fountain just like you do in jail. You know, That's I used right. to work in the jail. That's how it worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you value security over everything else, you're going to get maximum security, which is a panopticon prison where everything you do is watched. You live your life in this fishbowl that the government super analyzes everything that you do. In many cases, will jump to the wrong conclusion, make mm -hmm. you the enemy. Uh, that's what we're coming up to. Thanks, uh, Tony. Let's go to Bregan in Wisconsin. Bregan. Hey, guys. Um, hey. David, um, sorry, my speakerphone was on. David, thank you for uh, continuing to um, um, uh, pursue the story with um, uh, Wolfgang. I really appreciate that, and um, I, our hopes and prayers are with him. Yes. Um, uh, and for those people who haven't heard, Wolfgang Halbig is a former state trooper, former educator, a school security consultant who started uh, investigating Sandy Hook because that's what he does. He looks at school security. They want to tell you that all these gun regulations are to keep the children safe, but they don't want school security experts to know anything about the crime scene. Mm -mm. And after cover-up, after cover-up, after 10 months of trying to get FOIA information... They started threatening him. They started pushing back against him. So we've had him on the uh, nightly news. We wanted to get him on today, but he had a family emergency. Go ahead, uh, Bregan. Um, and I have a few questions for Wolfgang, but I'll save that for when he gets back on the show. Mm -hmm. But one of the primary questions would be, where is all that video? I mean, they've they've yeah, they've that's the question since day one. Yes. Yeah, they've exploited all that video from Columbine and every other school shooting and mm -hmm. every other. Um, you know, uh, mass murder event, and and why won't they use it this time? Well, a lot of people suspect that maybe there is no video yeah. showing that very fact. And um, anyway, I uh, thanks again for uh, pursuing uh, Wolfgang, and our thoughts and prayers are with him. I I hope he's doing okay. Well, thank you, Bregan, and thank you for helping us up there in Wisconsin. You've been involved with the raw milk trials that have taken place up there, and you brought Wolfgang to at least my attention. I, I think the writers found him, but thank you so much for your help and, and uh, following with us. Let's uh, go to Scott in Texas. Scott. I want to talk to you, uh, ask you questions, really, about foreign troops. I know Alex covers this quite a bit mm -hmm. on the show uh, Got some questions first. How many troops are there? I don't, ha the I don't have an a exact number, but we've seen various drills. I believe they had one in Miami uh, one or two years ago. They had troops from all over the world. I even think there's a, a few Japanese uh, personnel there as well running the troops, running the, uh, running the drills where they had to rescue the mayor or the... Yeah, it fluctuates. They'll bring them in for drills. Sometimes they'll bring them in for training. I know we've got, uh, we've got an Australian general who is... Uh, over some U.S. troops right now. I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing uh, the, the involvement that we have with that. But uh, hang on, we've got to go to a commercial break. We're going to be right back. We've been talking about the attack on the family. 
We've been talking about the attack on the family farm, and we've been talking about what's going on in Ukraine. What is our government doing? Are they trying to foster another World War III, or are they just trying to build up the military-industrial complex? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You've been hearing about the amazing benefits of heart and body extract for many years. Now, hear from the co-founder. My name is Tony Knudsen, and I am the co-founder of Heart and Body Extract. We've been in business for over 13 years now. With thousands of satisfied customers who have experienced the amazing benefits but never experienced a price hike. We've kept consistent pricing the whole entire time. The company's been in business and will continue to do so. Call today for Heart and Body Extract, 866-295-5305, or visit hbextract.com. Huge Mountain House Sale at Emergency Essentials. Right now, get 25% off every can. Go to BePrepared.com for the guaranteed lowest price you'll find anywhere. Mountain House freeze-dried meals are famous for their proven 25-year shelf life, delicious flavors, and easy preparation. This week only, save 25% on over 30 Mountain House varieties. For the best selection, call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. 866-229-0927. Or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are, incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. I'm joined here in the studio with Jakari Jackson, and we're taking your calls now. We're going to be joined in the next segment with Leanne McAdoo. She's going to give us some information about designer babies, as well as today in Austin, there was a meeting about fluoride in the water, and the InfoWars crew was pretty well represented there. That's still ongoing, as far as I understand, but she's going to give us an update on what's happening there. 
And I'm sure there'll be more news on that tonight on the nightly news. And also tomorrow, Alex Jones is going to be talking to Tucker Carlson. Now, you've probably seen Tucker on many, many different uh, news appearances. He's been on CNN, MSNBC, Fox, PBS. He's written for GQ, Esquire, New York. And he's the founder and editor of The Daily Caller. He was excoriated this week because of his comments about what it really means to have freedom in this country as a business owner. Being able to decide who you want to serve and who you want to not serve. Now, of course, most business owners aren't going to turn people out. But in some cases where you've got a wedding photographer who doesn't want to go to uh, cover a gay wedding, mm -hmm. he ought to have the right to do that. And if you say that he doesn't have the right to do that, as Tucker Carlson pointed out, that is just nothing but fascism. That's servitude. That's not freedom. Exactly, because yeah. uh, I believe the instance you're referring to is uh, the gentleman who didn't want to make a, a wedding cake for a gay couple. Yeah. And they knew, they expected that going in. They went to this guy purposely for that purpose. And, you know, the, the, the shenanigans and all the big things that came out of it. Yeah, it's amazing. I, I mean, they really attacked him in the media for stating what I think is the obvious thing, that if you've got a business, you get to decide what who you want to do business I mean, with. Go, I mean, you if you any, cut off everybody, you go to you're going to go out of business. Any restaurant yeah. that says we have the right to refuse service to anybody That's right. for whatever reason. That's right. It's a private business. And if it's, not, if it's a private business where the people who own it and pay taxes and pay for it and have to meet payroll... If they don't have the freedom to make the decisions about how they want to operate, who they want to operate with, then you've got fascism. You don't have a free market. You don't have private property. You simply have economic fascism mm -hmm. where you have token ownership by private individuals, but you don't have actual ownership. Now, he's going to be on tomorrow. I don't know what he's going to talk about, but uh, he's going to be on with Alex Jones live in studio. That's Tucker Carlson tomorrow. Now, we were just talking to Scott in Texas. He had some questions about foreign troops on American soil and some of these urban warfare drills. Uh, Scott, did you have anything else that you wanted to say? I wanted to get to uh, Rod in France before we get to the break. But, uh, Tucker, did you, uh, uh, Scott, did you have another question? Yeah, what I really wanted to probe you on is uh, Chinese troops in the U.S. Uh, for purposes under the U.N., Mm -hmm. uh, maybe national disaster, martial law. Uh, if you were the Chinese and you had 300,000 troops in the United States, how long are you going to play ball with the U.N. when the time comes to deploy? Are you going to follow the script or are you going to take advantage of the situation? What, what do you think is going on in the minds of the Chinese? Well, I think it's always important for a government that wants to do things in opposition to their citizens. And we see over and over again that the American government sees the American people as the enemy. It's always been the pattern that you use people that are not the, the uh, citizens to oppress the people. In other exactly. words, you're going to bring in a foreign military power. You're going to, uh, uh, yeah, and then once you get that established, you're going to put somebody over them. You're going to have a bureaucracy like the British Empire did in India, where they, the entire Indian bureaucracy was made up of indigenous people. Mm -hmm. But at the very top, you had a few people controlling that. But when you have a war, you want just the opposite of that. You want yeah, foreign you troops to yeah, come in and shoot the people. people come in, just like we see a lot of times in the drug war in Mexico. They'll bring various agents from the U.S. down to Mexico to, to assist in those drug busts. Now, let's go. Thank you, Scott. Let's go to uh, Rod in France. You've been holding for a while from France. Rod, what do you have to say? Hi, Dave and uh, Jakari. It's oh. always good to talk to you guys. You hey. do a great job. Just want to say starting out. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what I wanted to talk about, in fact, was Sandy Hook and, uh, and Wolfgang, uh, Halbig. Um, of course, I, I wish him the very best. I had the opportunity to, uh, to listen to his podcast, uh, from AFP, and it's extremely interesting. I mean, the, the things that, uh, that this guy has to say. And what's amazing about the story is, is that, uh, this guy, he obviously knows what he's doing. I mean, it's his job, and he's gone through all the correct channels to try and get information, and the, the cover-up just seems extensive. And uh, I just find it extremely disturbing that at the last moment, well, you notice that he doesn't, he hasn't gotten a lot of coverage as opposed to what I find is a, is a very important story. And I just find it extremely odd that just before he gets on to uh, gets on to Infowars and gets some massive exposure here yeah. with an extremely interesting story that uh, that he's had a family emergency, and I wish him all yes. the best on that. And I, yes, I we do. Nothing, nothing yes. going.
Well, eventually, yeah, thank you. for. We're going to be right back after the break with Leanne McAdoo, and we're going to follow this story, and we've got a lot of information from Wolfgang. We hope that it's nothing serious. We're on the march.